الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الحب في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم إنما يخشى الله من عباده العلماء Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran only those fear Allah from amongst his servants who have knowledge. Verily those who fear Allah the most are the ulama. And the ulama that we're concerned with the most is the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah. That's why we should respect the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah. But that doesn't mean we have to blind follow every viewpoint if we have the ability to look at a particular issue and and there's differences of opinion between Ahl Sunnah. So of course we're always ordered to go with the Dalil, go with that which is most correct if we have the tools to discern truth from falsehood. Ahabatifillah. The ulama have a high, high status with Allah Azza wa Jal. And those people are on the path of, of knowledge. So I advise myself and my brothers and sisters to seek knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen. Not to become famous. Not to become, be heard of by the people. Not to be on the da'wah circuit. <clears throat> to be amongst the du'at. But only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be participating in those venues for Allah only. So if you are on a da'wah circuit, that it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not because you wanted to be known as a big da'i and you wanted to marry more wives and you wanted more status and you wanted a salary and you wanted this, you wanted that, la. But it's because you wanted to come closer to Allah. This is what we hope for ourselves and our brothers and sisters, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises up because Allah raises the people by ilm, by knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, Yarfa Allah al-ladheena amanu minkum wal-ladheena utu al-ilm darajat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah will raise those who have believed amongst you and those who were given knowledge by degrees. So those who believe, yeah, Obviously the criterion is that you have Iman and that you have knowledge and you practice that knowledge because that's a part of that Iman. Allah will raise raises them in stages, in, in darajat. He raises them up, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Gives them he gives them status. So if you want real status, it isn't by striving for those things in the, this worldly life to be famous or what have you but be, get the darajat with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He will raise you in this life and more importantly in the hereafter that comes with sincerity to Allah and that comes with following the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm and nafiyah wa rizq al wa amal al-mutakabbilin wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم